Hey, what is going on, you guys? It is Tuba Player Negative AE, and welcome back to Valhalla. Uh, last we left off, uh, we were at work, and now we're not, so we should go to work. <laughs> Let's do it. It's Friday, though. Weekend's coming up. That's good. What's happening here? What was that? Good evening. Hello. I don't know what that was. Settings, maybe? Maybe. Uh, dots. Seems you made it just in time. I think that's just the car backfiring. Really? It sounded more like a gunshot to me. Have you ever heard gunshots? Haven't we all at some point? Yeah, well... See? It sounds like more like a, like a car's exhaust. I don't know, it's too dry. Yeah, but gunshots give more echo. What if it's a firecracker? Ah, boss. Firecrackers? Yep. A couple of years ago, there was this incident where some dude killed a cop. He managed to slip away because his pistol was mixed with the usual mega Christmas firecrackers. Nah, it sounded too hollow for firecrackers. Well, whatever. This is not a morning talk show. I'm not paying you to chit-chat about meaningless things. At least, not amongst yourselves. Right, we shouldn't lose time over a car's exhaust. Hey! <laughs> what the fuck is happening? Uh, this is fine. Time to mix drinks and change lives. Welcome to Valhalla. What the fuck? <laughs> what is this character? Hello, I'm looking for some information. What kind of information? Uh, what can you tell me about a girl nicknamed Crimson Rose? This reminds me of, uh... You guys ever watch Seinfeld? You know Seinfeld's, like, bald buddy? It's like, discount that guy. I forget what his name is off the top of my head. I don't know why. I can't think of his name right now. Sounds like a tacky online handle. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Although, tacky online handle is a bit redundant. Do you know anything about her? Nope, sorry. I have $80 here that might refresh your memory. Now that you mentioned it, I remember something. Really? Yeah, now I'm totally sure I have no idea who, whatsoever who you're talking about. Nothing at all? Nothing. Man, you're a sucky bartender, not having in any info I need. Sigh. Well, first of all, why assume that I just happen to have the info you conveniently need? Does that girl frequent this place? Is there any proof that I might have the info you so desperately need? Well, I... And second, you're not going to get anywhere by just offering me physical money. In fact, what are you doing with physical money? Do you want to get mugged so badly? Yeah, well... Moreover, even if I did know something, do you really think $80 is enough? You could do almost nothing with $80. And it's almost, and it's not enough to have a decent lunch. Really? So we're like way in the future, like inflation is just fucking like crazy. <laughs> Cause 80 bucks sounds like at least like five games, five indie games. Why are you scolding me? Why did you call me a sucky bartender for not conveniently having the info you need? I... Wait, of course. You want all deals to be clean, so you need me to spend money on the bar. That's how it works, right? I spend money, you give me the info. Maybe? Maybe not? Okay then, give me a drink, but keep it under $80. <laughs> what kind of drink can you buy for $80? I don't know. A beer? $200? Alright, well I guess we're just going right through. Looking at price tags. That is exactly $80. Are you kidding me? Hold on. <laughs> Anything less? Oh, uh, dude, this man is out of luck. I'm gonna have to give him a gut punch. Aww. Alright. He's gonna make some joke about this being a punch in the gut. Um, I, you know, it's whatever. 
Yeah, it's fine. It's all aged and mixed. One, two, three, four. Cool. There you go. Okay then. Do you know anything about the girl? No. But you said maybe, maybe not. Turns out that it's maybe not. You were the one deluding yourself into thinking that I might know something. And like I said, $80 is nothing. So I need to spend more? I'll give you some intel. Spend all the money you want, but I know nothing and no amount will change that. Can I at least get my money back? Why, the order is right, isn't it? I guess. So why are you looking for that girl, mister? Uh, Von Delay. Art Von Delay. Or Delay. I'm a private detective. It's what I do. So I'll assume you're either looking for a missing girl, or you work for a creepy online stalker. You're assuming the girl I'm looking for is innocent, or lost. She's not? She's half of the so-called Reapers of the city? Two guns for hire that work for whoever's resourceful enough to find them and wealthy enough to pay them. Crimson Rose and Cobalt Lily, they call them, or they call themselves. They still sound more like teenagers, uh, internet nicknames. They do, kind of. So, you, who wanted you to track her? I don't know. I've got the letter with the instructions and a paycheck. What if it's a prank? I have the money, so what if I? What do I care if it is? Besides, considering the amount that I was able to cash in with that check, it'd be a pretty wasteful prank. I see. Still, any information or rumors you could give me? They don't have to be related to the girl. Why do you need them? It's always good to keep up with the local going-ons. Goings-ons? Well, let's see. <laughs> Sorry, I can't think about anything right now. Most of the conversations you hear in here aren't rumor-worthy. Humor-worthy, maybe, but not too much about current events. At least, not beyond what you see on the news. Damn it. What kind of bar is this if you can't gather the word on the street? What kind of film noir world do you think you live in? Uh, Gil might know something if you're so fixated on finding some kind of information. I, I don't know what you're talking about. Do you know something that might help me, Gil? I don't. I certainly don't. And I'm offended by the suggestion that I do. He knows something. On second thought, maybe it's better if you don't get involved with him. Well, this has been a wager waste of my time. And here I thought all the noise BTC bars have made lately would be useful for something. Noise? What noise? You don't know? I'm asking for a reason. You'll find out soon enough. Don't worry. In any case, I guess I'll have another drink and leave. What can I get you? I'll have a grizzly temple. Simple enough. By name, G Grizzly Temple. 220 he spent three hundred dollars. Isn't that like all the money? Three powder delta three and this. And it is all blended. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, stop. Grizzly Temple at your service. Okay then, this is going to be deducted from the $80 from earlier, right? No. I'm... Come on, there has to be something. This week has been slow as hell. The only good thing I've heard is about the girl who threw herself off the roof of a nearby mall. And the whole thing about a woman catching her mid-air makes me think it's totally made up. Aside from rumors that the hairbringers are looking to cause trouble at a bank today, no, not really. Damn it. Wait, who told you that? It appeared on the news, didn't it? Yeah, but the name Hairbringers wasn't used. No Glitch City outlet has reported that themselves. There are rumors that someone or something is keeping them silent. And even the international outlets aren't using the name Harbringers. They're avoiding and acknowledging the organization yet for some reason. 
So you're either one of them or somebody in the know told you about it. Wow, it can be surprisingly sharp. Yeah, Donovan D. Dawson was in here for the last three days, actually. W really? I wonder if he'll notice the glass at the idol sign. I mean, sure, I can't think of anything that would be useful involving him right now, but... I guess not. Did he talk about anything interesting? Uh, interviewing that the idol that had a show a couple days ago dealing with messy interns. Par for the course, I guess. I see, I see, that's... Gunshot! It's a backfire. Firecrackers! <laughs> what the fuck? Hey, what do you think about the sa- uh, What do you think that sound just now was? It sounded like something very heavy being dropped. Something heavy? Come on, that's not even close! It was definitely more like an explosion of some kind. No, you could clearly hear the clashing of metal. Something that was both made out of metal and very heavy fell down. That's what made the sound. Whatever it is, it's not normal for it to be repeating so often. I wonder if something's happening. I heard there were some gang spats going on. Maybe they took conflict here, or the conflict here. Which means gunshots. If that's the case, I hope they just don't come too near us. Well, I've got to go. It seems coming here wasn't a waste of time after all. Really? Really? I just have different needs, but there will come a time when this place might help me. Goodbye. Pleasure. Come again. Gangs, then. Unlikely. This is unicorn territory. They've always been neutral and important third party in other gangs' deals. The who what now? I'll just pretend I heard nothing. Thank you. He left me thinking about the whole noise from the BTC bars thing. What's up with that? I think I heard something about money laundering through the bars. Don't take my word for it though. I see. I guess I'll just find out soon enough. Well, come. Streaming Chan? What the fuck? Too much clothing. Anime was a mistake. <laughs> Too much clothing. What is happening? Did I miss bath time? What in the actual fuck? Moon. What is happening? Streaming Chan. I'm sorry. I'm just... <laughs> and I a mistake. I'm Streaming Chan. Giving you a live video feed of my life and adventures 24-7. Bathroom time and naughty moments are only available to premium users. Oh, uh, dude. Justin TV? Hello? Hello? Justin TV? It's only nine... Wait. Okay. It's like Justin TV combined with Chatterbait or some shit. It's only $9.99 a month. Go premium now! Um... It's Friday night, and you know what that means. It's time for Streaming Chan's Escapades. Fuck yeah, I saw fuck yeah. This might be my favorite person. This might be my favorite person. Today's escapade is brought to you by ShiningFinger.moe. Leaders of VR adult entertainment since 2069. Buy a year of premium membership and you'll get a code. Exchange the code for a free trial of the VR experience modeled after yours truly. One and done. Excuse? Today I picked the shoddiest, nastiest, smelliest, ugliest bar I could find downtown. And sadly, it actually looks half decent inside. So much for going to a crap hole bar that smells like dog urine. Hello fellow youngsters. <laughs> Every so often I'll catch like a, like a, a line. <laughs> Excuse me. But no matter, tonight I'll give you an escapade you'll never forget. Hey you, where's the bartender? You're talking to her. Very funny, where is he really? Right in front of you. Hey you, the pretty boy over there. Where's the bartender? You're looking at him? No way. Not... No hot shirtless guy playing with fire and serving drinks while flirting with you? No sexy scantily clad girl jiggling around the place? You're telling me you two, dressed like fucking waiters, are the bartenders? <laughs> what the? 
Fuck you. Uh, I love I love when games like emulate the internet. It's really funny. It seems that way because it's true. It's just a satire on the internet. Dots. Is that a problem? Of course it's a problem. Friday nights are peak viewing hours. I need something sexier or enticing to keep them interested. Oh well. There's an easy solution to that. There it is. Yeah, just take your top off. Yeah! Anime was a mistake. You need to take off your bra too, depending on how the traffic grows. Or goes. Wait, you're quite flat. Do you even use a bra? Dump. Dots. Is that, uh, is that piercing glare a no? Come on, one of us is going to have to take their top off, and it ain't gonna be me. I already did that once today. Uh, and it's too late to go somewhere else. By the time I even find a nastier bar, they'll be closed. What's your policy on wearing pants? Somebody tried to have me fired for wearing a skirt, so we'll deal with that on a case-by-case -case basis. That's not a concrete answer. I need, a bin I need binary yes or no answers. My viewers have the attention span of fruit flies. If they wanted to use their brains, they'd watch something... You think they'd watch something like this? I need to keep them entertained, and the fact that you still have your shirt on isn't helping. <laughs> Wait, I know. Give me a drink. A big one. The nastiest you can think of. Uh, hello? Service here, please? Alright, she's a little she's a little pushy. Wow, it's like my brain shut down. She's a little pushy, but it's fine. Hey, I don't need you here. Oh my god, is that gonna be going by the entire time? Manly and promo drinks. I type. Promo drinks. Grizzly Temple. Is a Grizzly Grizzly Temple is I'm looking for one that's in both. Suplex Pile Driver, Gut Punch, Mars Blast, Service Bank. This one's unbearable. Where's Gut Punch? Uh, let's. I just want to check out Gut Punch. No, I like the I like the Grizzly Temple. Well, we'll do a Grizzly Temple. I hope I hope it's not bad. I hope this is what it is. All blended. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Stop. What is a grizzly temple? Here. All right then. Cheers. I don't think you should chug it down so quickly. It's like it hit me, but I didn't feel it till a few seconds later. Is this what being kicked in the balls feels like? Yep. Okay, I've decided. I just... I'll just get really wasted. That's gotta be fun enough, right? If you say so. Okay, in the meantime, what can you tell me about this bar? What do you mean? Weird stories, fun stuff, interesting facts. You're being seen by an average of 6,000 people while you're popular. Holy damn. She's streaming to 6,000 people her life? Hot damn! <laughs> make make their time worth it. Let's see then. Last weekend we held a party for the Cypher Tour Company, and it's a company run completely by dogs. Really? This place was completely overrun by corgis. Wait, 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 wait. Corgis? Did you really serve drinks to corgis? Tuxedo clad talking talking corgis. Yes. Wow! Awesome. Wait, you're not shitting me, right? I wish I was shitting you, trust me. What else? What else? Uh, let's see. Donovan D. Dawson from the Augmented Eye was here three nights in a row. That perfumed sho <laughs> chauvinistic bastard? Huh? There's that word again. 
Just the other day, someone from the Augmented Eye interviewed me, actually. What did they ask? Oh, the usual bullshit. Uh, who I was, what I did, future plans, inspirations. The one that interviewed me was the small, meek girl with glasses. She seemed a bit bitter, though. I wonder why. But enough about that. Wait. Can I see that glass over there? Hmm? Sure. The signature. Is this... Kira Mickey's autograph? Or Miki, I guess I should say. I guess her name is Miki, right? Yeah, she came uh, here before her last concert. Get out. Really? Is this some kind of secret hidden bar of the stars or something? Not really. We're just in the right place at the right time. What kind of person is she when she's not on stage? I tried to get a meeting with her, but she actually seemed willing... And she actually seemed willing, but she's always busy. Very nice girl, actually. She seems to be completely invested in her work. She loves what she does, and it shows. You think she'd be some sort of diva, but as far as I'm concerned, she's one of the nicest people I've met. I knew it! I knew she was nice. Yes, yes, yes. Her passion shows in her concerts, you know? She's so spontaneous. Her performances are never the same. Every time she sings Shrine Spark, I feel like my soul is warming up like a high school performance. Wait, like a high school? What the fuck? Like a high performance computer. Shine Spark. Eights. Eight, 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 eight. I hope, I hope that's from the Stanley Parable. Hey kids, wanna die? Um, I find myself saying it in the shower all the time. And those who pay premium can hear me sing every day at nine ninety nine a month. Go, go premium now. That aside, I was about to call bullshit on what you said. But I guess you do have some sort of proof for everything. Can I keep this glass? No. Pretty please? No. Party pooper. <laughs> At least this bar might be more interesting than I initially thought. The one thing that that make it perfect as if that pretty boy over there had a pass with the KGB. Who told- Yeah, that'd be crazy, huh? <laughs> Are you gonna order anything else? What? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The whole getting wasted thing. I heard of a drink called B a bad touch. Give me a big one of those, please. A big bad touch. <sighs> Coming right up. <laughs> Let's give her a big bad touch. A big bad touch. One, two, those words going across the screen, man. Two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two, then eight of these. One, two, three, four, eight. And this is all on the rocks and mixed. One, two, three, four, stop. That is a bad touch. Here you go. I was expecting something dirtier. We have olive brine. I can pour in a bit if that's what you want. No, not that. With such a dirty name, it feels like drinking it ought to come in some phallic glass or it'd be this thick white liquid. <laughs> Really? That would have skyrocketed watchers at least threefold. <sighs> Don't you have anything like that? Nope. Sigh. I'll have to make do with condensed milk when I get home. <laughs> what the fuck? Friendly reminder that today's escapade is brought to you by Shiny Fingered, Shining Fingered Dot Moe. Leader of VR adult entertainment since 2069. Buy a year of premium membership for a neat code. Said code will net you a free trial of a VR experience with a model based on Moi. Or Moi. Uh, what's the deal with that VR experience? Well, a fan made a NND model of me. An MM. <laughs> when Shining Fingered asked me about a model for our partnership, I just contacted him. We got money, he got money for polishing the model a lot more, and I got my partnership. We all won. I even got him a year of free premium membership and a VR headset. That's nice. Wait, 
What's NND? It's like a 3D model of yourself. MM MMD. The Niku Niku dance. <laughs> I have heard of the Miku Miku dance. I asked for a reason. It's, well, you look like you would do the Miku Miku dance. Uh, it's music videos with 3D models. You look like you could be like a Miku Miku dance thing. Yeah, that sounds like a good enough explanation. I see. Just by mentioning it here, someone's done it, right? To be honest, though, the model is a bit meatier than me. Not that I mind it, though, considering the use that it gets. You know, I was expecting you to be more scared when I said that you're being watched by a lot of people. It's hard to be scared when you can't see these people. But they're still here, you know? Sure, they're behind screens and sometimes in the opposite corner of the world. But every single one of my viewers is a real person with a real life. Not being here doesn't make them any less real. Marry me, streaming Chan. Premium time when? Uh, I understand, but it's not the same. They're not here, they're not visibly paying attention to me. I don't get paranoid because of my phone contacts. That's true, I guess. So, tell me, what made a lady like you become a bartender? It's not exactly an exciting story. Does it involve a man? No. What about a crime? Nope. A childhood promise? Nah. A religious vow? What? You're not gonna tell me that you ju you're not gonna tell me that you just decided out of the blue to quit your job and start bartending. That's actually what happened, sorta. Oh come on, no epiphany? Quarter life crisis? Not even a hot teacher somewhere along the line? <laughs> life isn't always a young adult novel where every decision has is a road cone. Uh, that's a problem. One, uh, one third of my audience are teens that shouldn't be allowed to watch my, my streams. Throw me a bone here. Uh, there must be a nice mystical story that you could tell me about yourself, Miss Bartender. Well? Yes? Sometime after I started working, I got an interesting client. He was a dark soul, a really old Lilla model. Apparently, his power supply was running low. His charger was destroyed, and he didn't have any money to buy upgrades or replacements. He also seemed to have neglected his maintenance. It was from the time when Collective Source was in a cloud storage system. So, he wouldn't be uploaded there once his body ran it. Aww. Keep going. It was weird, you know? He was the only Lilim I would seen with a clear fear of mortality. No transcendence for him. He would disappear once his batteries ran out. It's like knowing you'll vanish while everyone else passes on to heaven, he said. Oh, man. I guess he felt bad about burdening someone else with his problems. So he went and gave me a fingertip of his that fell while we were talking. And before he left, he said, If you remember me, maybe a part of me will transcend. Oh, that's really sad. The music went, like, went along with it, too. The music was, like, perfect. Bravo, bravo! Touching, full of feeling, completely awesome. I'd pay to see a movie like that. So, what happened to that finger? I made a pendant out of it. I carry it with me at all times. Even while bathing? Almost all times. I miss short-haired streaming Chan. Uh, <laughs> now that I think about it, how do you handle the stream if you want to watch a movie or something? I have a plugin that lays mosaic censorship over what I watch on the TV or in the theater. I see. Okay, this is getting stale. I'm gonna heat this up, even if I have to do it myself. We need to drop a cow in here. Miss Bartender, get me drunk. I don't care how, just do it. Okay. There was a drink that had like 80... 80, uh... Carmotrine, uh, before. Uh, I'm just gonna go by name. Start with the first one. Uh, I'm just gonna look for the most... There's one with like nine. 
Yeah, right here. The fringe weaver. You just you just double this. Uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. All aged and mixed. One, two, three, four. Fringe Weaver. Okay. This is like the most alcoholic thing. So? Lightheadedness. Clumsy tongue. Palm sweaty, knees weak, arm spaghetti. Can't feel my legs. Can't feel my legs. All right, let's get on with the lewd stuff. First, I'll try to guess your bus size. I must warn you, I have a 90% success rate with this. I'd say B. Not big enough to fill a hand, but small enough to make you look like a child. Your size B, right? I'm not discussing my bust. Don't be like that. I can tell you're a V cup. Your attitude makes me think you're an S, and your behavior makes me think your blood type is AB. So, how many did I get right? Who knows? Um, please let me get on with this. I need you to cooperate if this is going to be a success. Can I ask you something? Finally! What's the point of getting drunk if you're going to behave the same way? <laughs> I guess it is kind of redundant. Because, you see, I'm drunk 24-7. Huh? Knowing people want to watch me do ev anything and everything... Seeing the viewer count steadily raise as I take more risks and become more adventurous? It's a feeling that neither alcohol nor sex can compare to. Speaking of sex, if I get lucky tonight, you only need to pay nine nine ninety nine ninety nine to see what happens afterward. Go premium or go home. Do you really get lucky if the other person knows they're being streamed? You'd be surprised by how many are actually turned on by that. How do you deal with people who don't want their identities? She's pretty awesome. I like streaming Chan. She's a little forward, but it's whatever. <laughs> She's a little like in your face. Everything's written here. By being captured by this camera, you hereby provide your consent to the use of your face on all material produced by Streaming Chan LLC. I'm not sure how legal that is. People believe it is, and I've yet to be troubled by a lawyer. It's funny though, when you're on the street, unless it's somebody really hot, you can't recall their faces. But learn their name, and suddenly they're a fucking snowflake, and. That's better than all the rest. This is weird. I'm feeling sleepy. You did ask me to get you drunk. Why is that weird? Because I haven't felt sleepy in quite some time. In fact, I've been sleep deprived for a while now. How long? A week. A week? Weeks are the ones with 30 days, right? Uh... Yep, totally sleepy. I can feel my eyes getting heavier. And there's this weird lag when I try to move? What's up with that? <laughs> this means you're drunk. What the fuck? Anyways, I think I'll take a little nap before storming off and continuing the night. If you'll excuse me. Should I rec or should I call a cab? And risk waking her up? Leave her be. I'd rather break the rules and let her sleep than deal with her again. I'm gonna take my break now. It's been a while since I've needed a cigarette this badly. Alright. Alright! Um, we met Streaming Chan. Uh, we met Art. Art Von Delay. Um, interesting. Very interesting stuff. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I really like Streaming Chan. I think she's really good. I think she's like... Uh, she's, a, she's a cool cool character. Uh, I don't know how I feel about art. <laughs> I feel like he's uh, he's a little bit weird, but it's whatever. Uh, we'll continue this on the next episode, uh, probably really soon. Uh, I, I don't plan on waiting more than a day or two to upload the next one, so you'll see that uh, soon.
Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this episode, please hit the like button. Also, subscribe if you haven't done so already. Lots of visual novel and roguelike content on the channel. Um, I know it's a weird combination, but, you know, it's whatever. I hope to see you guys in the next episode, whatever it may be. Thank you guys for uh, supporting me. I appreciate you. Peace out, you guys.